Welcome to PDF Run. In this video, we'll guide you on how to fill out CBP 7512. Form CBP 7512, also known as Transportation Entry and Manifest of Goods, subject to CBP inspection and permit, is a form issued by the Customs and Border Protection, or CBP. It is used by importers to compile and declare necessary information about the merchandise or goods. To begin filling out this document, click on the Fill Online button. This will redirect you to PDF Run's online editor. On the first box, enter the entry number, port, and the date. Then, enter the port code number and the first US port of unlading. For the second box, enter the entry number and the class of entry. Next, enter the following details. The port, date, name of the importer, the importer or IRS number, CHL number, name of the vessel or carrier, car number and initial, pier or station, name of the CBP port director, final foreign destination. Take note that you will only enter information if the goods are for export only. Consignee at the CBP port of exit or destination. Foreign port of lading, B, L number, date of sailing, name of the vessel or carrier, and motive power. Flag, date imported, last foreign port, the exporting country, the date it was exported, and the location of the goods. For the table below, fill out the following columns, namely, marks and numbers of packages, description and quantity of merchandise number and kind of packages, gross weight in pounds, value, rate, and duty. Then, enter the general order number and mark the box to determine if the goods are withdrawn for vessel supplies. For this section, enter the following details. The port, the vessel, vehicle, or aircraft, where the goods are laden, the reason, and the date it was cleared. For verification, enter the name of the inspector and the date. Lastly, enter the CBP seal numbers, along with the inspector's name and the date. For certification, enter the name of who entered or withdrew the goods. The statement declares that all information contained in CBP Form 7512 are true and correct. For the next section, enter the following details the name of the port director and the attorney or agent of carrier. For the next section, record of cartage or lighterage. Enter the following information, conveyance, quantity, date, delivered, and enter the name of the inspector. For the received columns, you can either enter the name of the cartman or lighterman, or enter the name of the inspector along with the date. Lastly, on the portion below, enter the total amount of quantity by adding all the data for the column, then enter the name of the warehouse proprietor. For the certificate of transfer section, if it is required, enter the following details. The reason why the described goods were transferred, to whom, when, and where the described goods were transferred, seals or seal numbers, exceptions, if any goods are not in the same apparent condition as noted on the original lading, Lastly, enter the location and date the goods were inspected, the seals found in the goods, and the name of the inspector. For the last section, inspector's report of discharge at destination. Enter the following details. The port, station, date, delivering line, car number, initial, date arrived, and the condition of the car, seals, and the packages. Next, enter the details for the columns. Date of delivery to importer or general order. Packages. Number and kind of entry or general order. Bonded truck or lighter number. And conditions, etc. Lastly, certify that the above report is correct by entering the name of the inspector. Review and double check if all entered information is correct and accurate. Once finished, click on the done button to save, download, and print your CBP 7512. To learn more about this form or find other fillable templates, visit www.pdfrun.com.